My name is Yadira Soto Feliciano. I am an assistant professor in the Department of Biology at MIT, and I'm also a faculty member at the Koch Institute for Integrative Cancer Research. I am a cancer and chromatin biologist by training, and if I can summarize my work in one sentence, we study cancer biology by doing fundamental research in gene regulation and epigenetics. Epigenetics really encompasses the mechanisms that cells use to control expression of genes without changing the sequence of DNA in their genomes. In my laboratory at the Koch Institute, we're very interested in understanding how our genomes are able to fit inside a very small space inside our cells. And the way that cells do this is by compacting DNA into, structure, into a structure known as chromatin. And chromatin is a very dynamic physical structure that opens up and closes down to allow for genes to get turned on or turned off in response to changes in the environment of the cell, but also throughout the development of an organism. So more specifically in the lab, we are focused on factors or proteins that we, we call chromatin adapters or scaffolding proteins. And these factors are instrumental in shaping the structure of chromatin and really also dictating the changes and dynamics of the chromatin structure. And, and I mentioned before that chromatin opens up or closes down in a very regulated manner. And adapter proteins are central for these mechanisms. And we're really working to understand how these fundamental processes happen, hoping that we can uncover novel biology that will allow us to, to target perhaps some of these uh, processes in human diseases. By virtue of training, I consider myself an interdisciplinary scientist. I am a cancer biologist by graduate training with Professor Michael Heeman here at the Koch Institute. And I am also a chromatin biologist by postdoctoral training with Professor David Allis at the Rockefeller University. And perhaps because of this, I really think strongly that no modern scientific problem can be solved by a single discipline or a single approach. And this is not exclusive to biomedical research or even cancer research. This applies to all science in, in general. And the Koch Institute really provides such a unique environment for these very effective synergies between basic and applied scientists, but also engineers to tackle these very important problems around cancer research. I like to summarize the, the lab culture that I envision for my own group in four words dynamic, egalitarian, inclusive, and diverse. And really, I want to provide my trainees with an environment that allows them, allows them to do the best science possible, at the same time that we are providing them with the opportunities to create very long-lasting professional relationships with peers and colleagues. And also, I really want them to feel comfortable in, in knowing that they have a voice on the day-to-day, -day, but also the important scientific questions we take as a group. So after I graduated from college, I had the opportunity to work in a bioengineering lab here at MIT, where my interest in biology and biomedical research started to really spark. The combination of both my graduate and postdoctoral uh, training really shaped who I am today, which is really a cancer biologist working at the intersection of chromatin biology and gene expression. I am incredibly excited about the ongoing but also the future collaborations between my group and other groups at the Koch Institute because I am so excited about the, the uniqueness but also the diversity of experiences, approaches and really innovation in this Cancer Institute that I really can't wait for the next generation of cancer research at the Koch Institute.